Hi guys. The other day I made this glider from one of those foam trays that takeaway meals come in that somebody had dumped and it blew into my garden. It flew very well and I've had a few comments on the video. Now I know that in most places you don't get these foam trays anymore. You're more likely to get cardboard and as we happen to have some pizza tray uh, sorry some pizza uh, boxes here I thought I'd have a go and see if I can more or less replicate that using this oh sorry it's not an advert for Papa John that just happens to be the pizzas that we had a little while back this one's pretty clean I cut off the sticky bits, a little bit just there, and a few stains there. But I think that's good enough for us to use. I thought I'd see if I could more or less copy this design. So, what are we? We're about seven inches across, and about five, we'll call it five and a half inches that way. And then these bits stick up by about an inch and a quarter. So that was about seven inches that way, five and a half that way, and then those bits, what did I just say, they stick up by about an inch and a quarter. Uh, oh, and that way, oh, about two inches there. I guess that's about an inch across, isn't it? That's about an inch. And that thing, that's about two and a half. And about one and a half. Okay, so that's what we've got to go with. So if we start... Oh, the thing that you may not notice, these slightly come in at an angle. Just very slightly. And that might actually help it fly. But we'll try it first of all with them just coming up straight. Being as we happen to have those bits sticking up. So, if we measure five and a half inches, and we'll have the grain on the cardboard going across that way. Five and a half inches and seven inches. So that means we want the center three and a half, seven inches, three and a half. And these bits were about, okay, let's just measure that. Measure, draw that line there, draw that line up there, because this will be a little bit heavier than the foam, so it will fly a bit faster and harder, I should think. I could have actually scaled it up and that would have helped balance out the extra weight, but we'll try it exactly as it is for now. Should have a little bit that folds over as well, just there. Yeah, better do that as well.
Not sure I say that was one and a quarter inches up there. Just realise I'm measuring in tenths, not quarters, so I don't think it's going to matter that much. That's a sort of curve. Like that somehow. Oh, we need the, this bit, which I made out of the bit that was left there, didn't I? And if we get lazy and just draw around there. Right, cutting board. Obviously you could use scissors. Actually I suppose I could just cut that straight up like that. Yeah, we'll do that. Makes the design a little bit easier because it might mean it doesn't fly, but we'll find that out in a minute. How much we need folded over? We don't need all that. That's going to be about an inch and a quarter, I think. Not quite sure how I'm going to make that bit stick up. Right, don't forget this piece. in it. And the slot's got to be a tight fit. But if it's too tight it actually twists over an angle. Did I? That'll confuse you if I change to centimetres, won't it? About an inch. to hold it up because they're going to flop around aren't they okay then that one's going to fold over and we'll find out how much weight we need in a minute If 
if we put a little bit under there to begin with. Right, we'll see if that works. There we go, pizza cardboard box glider. It works. Took a while to get the balance just right. And it's very flat plate style, so you have to get the angle of launch just right. You could cut some flaps in the back here if you wanted to adjust the trim and make it do stunts. And you could add a rudder on the back, bend that to go left and right if you wanted. But as it is, it works. I did use super glue to reinforce these bends here to make them stay vertical. Uh, and that's it. I will draw out the dimensions for those people who want to actually copy this. So I'll do a picture after this. nose weight. I've just taken the blue tack off that I was using and I've just stuck a penny on there. That's a British penny, a hundredth of a pound. It's about the same as a American cent I should think. And we'll just see how it flies with that. Yeah, that flies fine with the penny as the nose weight. So that's about what you want, something like that. I've also let these just fold out a little bit. And that seems to give it a little bit more stability instead of being vertical, just out at a bit of an angle. Thanks for watching. You'll find more information down in the video description. You might like to watch that video up there. And you might like to subscribe over there.